This is Steve, High Performance Systems, taking a look at our uh, end result at the walk-in freezers. Originally, they had a linoleum sheet good down that had buckled. Uh, the sheet good was held down by some, some sort of glue, uh, liquid nails possibly, and uh, had basically water had gotten underneath that sheet good, created an area for water to harvest bacteria and mold, and ultimately an unsanitary environment for this kitchen area. Um, we came in last night at uh, 7 o'clock to start the project, uh, do our demo and prep where we removed all of the bad um, linoleum on top of uh, what was a, a metal pan at the bottom of this freezer, uh, scrubbed and, and um, sanitized the, the existing uh, pan of the freezer with bleach and degreaser, and then diamond ground the floor to make sure we had a good prep or profile. Uh, after we got all of our prep and demo done, we installed um, some contact cement which allowed us to adhere to the existing floor um, and then from there some hardy board uh, to create a, um, a, a good surface for our, our next coating to bond to. Um, the main purpose of that was to make sure that we didn't have any trampoline effect or any bumps or ups and downs uh, that could allow for this freezer to hold weight and not move. Otherwise, the uh, subsequent layers would ultimately end up um, blistering or, or cracking at the joints uh, as well as engaging in the temperature rates. Uh, they're going to be dropping this down to below 40. So from there, we installed our seamless resinous floor cement urethane with uh, radial cove in all corners and that is um, the ideal scenario for this freezer box as well as any food uh, food processing area um, the differences here is typically you may want to lend your hand to an epoxy epoxies will not be able to install in a short turnaround time number one uh, you're looking at a 26 hour cure rate between every coat so that's 48 hours minimum for your base coat and top coat to cure and number two, uh, they don't hold the same thermal shock values as a urethane. So your, your cement urethanes will allow for um, those low temperatures. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our texture, anti-slip texture for employee safety. This product is getting top coated. You'll take a look at this next area, which is finished and top coated, and you'll get a better idea on what it's gonna look like. Thanks guys for more projects like this. Uh, the tutorial you can visit us at www.high that's H I G H Performance Systems. That's systems plural S Y S T E M S dot com.